Hello, YouTube. Mr. Johnson's grandma. I just left my doctor's appointment. My daughter was supposed to come pick me up, but I think she had got probably got busy. So I'm taking my time getting down this long street, guys. <laughs> but today, my doctor uh, had called all of his patients in, and he wanted to make sure that our health and everything is good. And uh, everything is going good with me. I cannot wait for it to get warmer. I'm staying in the house till June the 15th. You know, I just stay in the house to make sure I do what's right and not come out here too early. So God bless you guys. And I miss, I know you saying like, hey girl, where that cooking at? I do the cooking once a week until I can get, you no. Know, more stronger, doing what the doctor tells me to do. I'm staying healthy. Uh, man, just go to your doctor's appointments. Do not miss doctor's appointments because of this virus. Please go into your local doctor's office and make sure that you guys are good. So, I actually I'm walking down Lenox. Yeah, I have a, I have like probably. A good, what a good five minute walk. It's not that far from my house. My doctor's office is actually close to my house. And we did that because, say, if, if I can't get a ride at that time for the doctors, at least I'm able to take my time and walk myself to my doctor's appointments. So that's a cool thing. That's a cool thing. How are you guys today? How are y'all feeling? I hope y'all feeling okay today. And I hope everyone is blessed and staying prayed up. One thing I think we have to do is definitely stay prayed up. A lot of us that are Christians and believe in God and believe in His faith, we really do pray, guys. And I mean, we pray in the morning, noon, and night, you know. It's, and we just be thanking God. So if you haven't prayed to God, or if you haven't visited your local church, don't feel bad. It's never too late for you to open up the Word of God into your heart. The Word of God is for everybody. It's not just for me. It's for you. It's for the little ones. And just imagine, as we teach the little ones about the Lord, how blessed this world would be you know i have eight grandchildren and they all will sing you some marvelous gospel singing songs they really believe in god they love they love life they love the world they love me i'm grandma so you ain't got no choice but the love that i get even from my community is so wonderful and it's so blessed and it's so amazing how I'm not alone out here, you know. I sometimes, a couple, a lot of years ago, my mom moved out of Detroit, and I felt lonely. And uh, I could have took the opportunity at that time to leave, but at that time I was in love, and I didn't want to leave the man I was in love with. Well, that didn't work out, okay? So now I'm just here, single again, <laughs> and uh, I don't have no regrets for not going with my mom. But if I do, if I if I really do grind my YouTube, I can definitely be able to have a house in New York, in uh, Kentucky, and I'll be closer to my mom. And plus, back here at home, where I started my YouTube, um, I want to turn my house into somewhere where you can come and get free food, free items, stuff that you might need for your bathroom to help you along. So me and my grandkids decided that we want to do three boxes. And we want to take it to one of our neighbors, three boxes. We're going to fix it all up, put a little stuff in it, toothpaste and stuff like that. And uh, just let them know how much we love them, you know? I have a lot of seniors, a lot of seniors, guys. Well, you see that light all the way up there? 
Yeah. That'll get me off. So I've been calling my daughter over and over. And I don't know why this girl ain't picking up my phone, but you know, my legs. Let me show you my legs, guys. So they're thinking about doing a um they want to do a knee a knee replacement. And they want to do surgery. They want to do surgery on my knee. So I just thank God that I'm able to feel pain. You know, somebody can't feel pain right now. They're not here. And to the loved ones, the people that we lost with this virus. Oh, my God, you guys. This is so sad. And I know you guys are praying. You know, they was talking about it at the doctor's office. And how we had to be six feet away from somebody just in case they have the disease and we don't want to catch it. Uh, it's crazy, but I went to my doctor's appointment. I'm glad I know that I'm okay, that I'm taking care of myself. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, and I'm definitely keeping my family in the house, you know. Yep. So I want everybody to just stay blessed. You too, thank you for this opportunity that you have given the Johnson family. I have shown my grandkids off today in the doctor's office, and they fell in love with Willie and Armani, and they cannot wait to meet all eight of my grandkids. <laughs> the kids, man, they so remarkable. They're my remarkable babies. That's what they are. They're my remarkable babies. They are the ones that God said, you know, grandma's love. I heard people talk about it when I was little. And now to be able to understand grandma's love, woo-wee. That's a powerful love of grandma. So big ups to all the grandmas. Making sure the family's fed. Making sure you take care. Don't give up, you guys. I, take it from me. Right now I'm walking with one leg, okay? The second leg is in severe pain. And, uh... I just cannot wait to get home to take my medicine. Uh, it's called severe arthritis. And uh, basically what he's saying that uh, I used to play a lot of sports. So it's just, it's, so it just kind of wore down on me. I love basketball. I love baseball. I love football. And stuff like that, I was still athletic and doing that, you know, kind of stuff. And it took a toll on me, y'all. It's time for Grandma to just focus on her YouTube cooking and having fun with these bread babies and staying healthy and getting his leg surgery. And I'm from Detroit, Michigan. And you can reach me at DIA NNA Johnson. 307 at gmail.com and you guys can send me a message if you want to do a collab together i am up and will welcome to do that i know they're they're canceling a lot of our travel plans and uh we had two vacations you guys that we were bringing to youtube and those vacations got canceled and flights so they we, they did give us a lot of bonus points on our flying and it's going to be okay. You know, it's just going to take it one day at a time. But am I ready? Yes, I am. So tune in Sunday, guys. I'm going to prepare pepper steak, a garden salad, and uh, uh, the garlic bread, uh... I think at the rice, so you guys will be able to see me prepare uh, pepper steak this Sunday. How about that? We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. So, in the words of the Johnson family, and I'm almost getting there, y'all. <laughs> uh oh, the words of the Johnson family. What up? What up, though? Detroit. What up, though? Detroit. What up, though? What up, though, Detroit? What up, though? What up, though, Detroit? 313, check it out. MZ, Big Baby D's, a.k.a. Deanna Johnson. Just want to say, a healthy, a healthy, a healthy. I'm 56 years old. I'm still here banging. 
Bang, bang. Bye, y'all.